I'm going to share all of me with you now. My name is Jenny Morris. I'm an author. I'm a radio presenter. I do television and boy can I cook. Hello and welcome to the Cook's Playground with the lovely Jenny Morris and myself, Guy McDonald. Hello Richard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, a, a kitchen theatre, if you will. Sounds like it's somewhere in the wild of Mr. Attenborough. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Jenny Morris? Uh, I know we're going to do a little bit of Thai flavours here. We're going to make some corn cakes. Corn cakes? Corn cakes. Just as well I wore yellow then for the corn. There you go. <laughs> so perceptive. Now, I'm going to swap sides with you. Okay. So, so do, Guy's going to go this side. Do, do, do. In the beginning, you, he's going to start off by adding the corn. You can use frozen corn. This is fresh. Um, Oh, sweet corn. Put it in. Oh, God. Put, put it in the pot. Put it in the All pot. All of it. All of it. Okay. No, no. Okay, that's fine. Oh. All of it's fine. <laughs> I want you to put half of this in. Okay. Put that that side. Instructions are very important with me, eh? I know, because he just has a lack of focus sometimes. This is a bimacruch leaf. It's a lime leaf. It's delicious. Um, and oh, I'm going to put all of that lime in. Lime leaf that oh, you've ground down. Smell. Oh, that's oh, I wouldn't mind dabbing a bit of that on the forehead or behind your knees. Very ears, nice. Or behind your knees. Mm. Smell that. That's fresh lemongrass. And look how tiny it is. Look at that. It's like powder. You can start stirring. Yes. You can start stirring. Um, I might grab an egg. We might need to just, but I've made, what I've done is I've made a corn puree. So I've taken half of a corn and I've pureed it with the eggs and um, that's going to help bind it and hold it together. We've got some soft raisin flour here which is going to give it a bit of a lift and if we need more we can always adjust. Definitely a bit of salt um, even though we are using fish sauce which is the salt of the east. Look here. Love As opposed to salt of the earth. Salt of you, the salt of the earth. But, um, we're both salt of the earth. You see too. You're too sexy for your shirt, you know, that he does, he's a smart guy. Um, some pepper, and sometimes I also like to put in those little green peppercorns as well because it gives you a pop. In fact, peppercorns in one of my cookbooks, go and read it. Okay, so now we need some beautiful fresh herbs. Herbs? Oh, the pepper's going to make me sneeze. That's okay, as long as you sneeze into It's coming. Oh, here we go. Ah! Oh. Thank you. oh, bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> At least he moved away oh. from the food. I think that's very important. Fresh coriander. Orgasm for the face, that. I want to tell you something, darling. Oh. There's nothing worse than a failed sneeze because you're not satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> it leaves you wanting. Very true. <laughs> We're going to use a little bit of fresh mint. Fresh mint just brings a beautiful element of freshness into it. And this mint is out of my garden. Out of your garden. Look, listen, when I bruise it, I bruise it before I cut it. Can't you smell it? Do you, uh, Natasha Beddingfield, this mint? Bruise easily. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That is her song, isn't it? I should know, being a radio DJ. Yes, well, you're a radio jock. I'm a chef. Right, some beautiful fresh mint into that. And how about some fresh basil? You know what would be nice basil. now is a yes. glass of champagne while I do this because it's rather hard labour. Is it hard labour? I might give you a crafty beer. What is that that you're slicing through? Basil. Ah, uh, basil! Shredding basil. Poor old basil. Can you smell it? Nothing faulty with that. <laughs> God, he's too sexy for his shirt. This, this is a bimacrude leaf. Um, it looks like a heart. It's delicious. Now I'm going to do that and crush it. Smell that. Oh, that's lovely. Dad, that would be as well. It. I'll just rub it all over oh, his little body God. before I chop it back into the food. It's gone. Right. I'm not going to swap sides with you. Okay. I'm going to swap sides with you. Have I stirred this to your uh, liking. liking, is the word, yes. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make one. And, and if it flops, it's my stirring. Well, it's your stirring. Yes. It it's not my of recipe. I'm going to pop this into here. Be careful of your face because it's like popcorn. It can. I'm okay. I'm over okay. here. So try and keep the corn together in the pan. If you come and have a look here, if it starts straying, you've got a problem. It's like a man. Do not allow it to stray. Okay. If you're trying to put this into shape, it's like a woman. It's unpredictable. It might just not hold the shape. Okay. 
Very true that, women not holding their shape. Well, I, having said that, I don't I mean, mean it you in said that it. context. I didn't say I it. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> but very true. I'm saying we're unpredictable, we won't be told. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to cover this because I seriously fear for your face. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I'm giving you some sweet chili sauce because this really works well with it. But if you want soya sauce, I mean the choice is yours. This is really hot. I'm hot. I'm dying. And that's been popping. Oh! <laughs> popping up a storm. <laughs> so be careful of stray kernels. <laughs> kernels, that's, of course. That's what they say in the army. Be <laughs> careful of stray kernels. <laughs> oh. Yes. Popeye. Would like to try some. Yes, I want you to. This looks absolutely divine. It's not it's, it's, so what do it's you what do you call this? It's a corn cake. I told you just before. A, you just never a corn listen. cake. Maybe you don't have a special name for it, no. like Jenny's. No, it's not mine. Popping corn cake. Uh, Jenny's popping corn. I like it, and I like the addition of the sweet chili mm. sauce on there as well. It just lifts it. Kind of, yes, it does. It gives it a good old lift. Mm. I'm, I'm schwitzing in this kitchen. So I am dying from this popping corn. What do you serve that with? It's a snack. Mm. Like a little a starter. snack. starter. Oh, but you know, you could have like a nice little chicken breast if you wanted to and have corn cake on the side with it. Or just as a little, a nice little starter, absolutely. It's a corn pie, corn cakes per person. And I'm proud to say that I haven't told one corny joke this entire episode. Oh, my God, don't lie. He so thinks he hasn't. <laughs>